guys, welcome back to another episode of Az's New Vegas Adventure, continuing right from where we left off. I just basically hit the button twice to stop the recording and start the recording. <laughs> Come on. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Then why are you still here? Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I wonder where I'm a trader from. primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. What a quinky dink, I'm a courier. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Right here. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was so strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Victor? Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. No, let courier six carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just... I don't care about him. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few... Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy... Okay, so now we get the next little link nope. in the quest chain, which is to talk to Deputy Beagle. But before we go find Deputy... He's been kidnapped, by the way. He's being holed up in the... Bison Steve. We're going to talk to this guy. Well, I'll be damned. I heard through the grapevine you was still a-kicking. Hoped you might show up here. Come again? I don't know you. What would you want with me? Well, word is, is you damn near come back from the dead. Dead? Damn miracle, if you ask me. I still get really bad headaches from that. I'll bet you do. The way I figure it, you either got a golden horseshoe stuck up your ass, or an angel on your shoulder uh, looking out for you. Either way, that kind of talent might come in handy on a project I'm working on. You interested? Only if you keep talking with that southern accent. Sorry about that. Reckon I got ahead of myself. Name of Steve, as in Bison Steve. Yep. That old place has been in the family for years, and I aim to rebuild her. But I need your help. Them goddamn convicts took over the town and got us locked up in here tighter than a virgin at Gomorrah. Yeah, I already introduced myself to them as I came in. Hell yeah. Now that's what we need around here, somebody to take the damn Brahmin by the horns. Now that fucking beagle's a pussy. Anyhow, I need that hotel cleared out and Granny's blueprints brung back to me. After but the... A whole lot of fucking caps, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Okay, I'm in. Come back. We Damn. gotta go over there anyway, so. Alright. Basically, he wants to rebuild the damn hotel, so. We can, we can totes help out with that. What we're gonna do, though, is talk to Johnson Nash. Hey, youngster. Uh, where's this inventory? There we go. Oh, you stupid clock. There we go. Alright, let's see what we can get off of him. Buy up those. Buy these 9 mil. Uh, ooh. Damn 24, DPS 36. critical damage, bonus critical chance. I 
This has a higher damage, but a lower DPS. I kind of want that, though. I never use... I never use it. <laughs> Free cases. Cases don't have a value, so... <laughs> Except for these ammo boxes. See, that's surplus, though. You don't want surplus ammo. They make your gun degrade faster. Ah, uh, long fuse down to my... Parts, a service rifle, fires 556 millimeter rounds. Um. <sighs> no, no, we're not going to get that. Uh, 357, we don't have a 357 Magnum, so. Uh, apparel, you can have that, you can have that. This is about all we've got. Have the yeast. Crush conductor. Empty nuka bottle. I uh, have the ashtray. Bang. Just a little bit of ammo and some other stuff, so we're good. Alright, let's go. It's worth a quick save. save button. I don't know which one it is. So I'll just save it here. It'll do a hard save. Alright. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? No, I'll tell you what. There we go. See that little dynamite icon in the bottom? Basically, with Project Nevada, if you've got a ranged weapon, ah, see, we got, see, we have people walking away. Press and hold the G key, and then fire away. See, we got one. Come on. We don't want our encumbrance to get too high on this one. Uh, the force buffer is worth 30. The iron is 33, so we're going to keep the iron buffer on. Uh, Merc Charmer. Merc Troublemaker. And for weapons... Sturdy caravan shotgun. Uh, no ammo in the trash. Oh, I don't have a high enough science skill, do I? That's all right. Maybe if we level up, I'll put some skill in science. We can get in that terminal. In the meanwhile. Now, 
It's going to take a screenshot every time I quick save. Let's see if Project Nevada has a you can blow up locks function. So let's see if that did anything. Of course not. Of course not. still locked. Shit. Oh well. Surprisingly they didn't hear that. Alright. Now let's get this ready. Over here. Uh, 32. Flamer fuel incinerator. Motorcycle helmet. Other armor. I'm a huge fan of laser weaponry. 9mm, 9mm, bottle cap, case, and we got another cleaver. See, the 9mm really isn't a very great weapon. Neither is the incinerator, but... Is that a flamer? Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to put some skill into science. Still not a fan of the 9mm. I like this leather armor. Sweet. I don't suppose you came here. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pl I'm in a Oh, such a free. Oh, that's just marvelous. Uh, sure, in a way, I don't think you'd be much. Then I'll anyway. defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms. And Go, get on out of here. It's useless. Booze, a bit of food. Anything worth grabbing in here? Most of the time I don't worry about grabbing dirty water, but I tell you, if when you get the uh, camping set, you know, if you can get that much 
caps, you get a water purifier with it. So, like, if you've got dirty water, you can instantly make clean water out of it. So, all right, it's worth another quick save. Uh, we'll repair the elevator. Oh, wait, I lifted up my science skill to get into this terminal. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Do a quick save. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. You have four tries to guess co correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force the security to reset, delaying your ability to start hacking again. What a penalization. Uh, hearing? Five out of seven correct, okay. Four out of seven correct. Walking, okay. I have a magazine. Okay. Programmer's Digest. Science plus ten for half a second. Despair. One out of seven. Secrets. This is the delay there we're talking about. I am not good at hacking. <laughs> Aha! Nice. Because reasons. <laughs> uh, disengage the lock. Okay, now we get to have some goodies here. Key to the maintenance shed. Uh, some stim packs, empty syringe, some mentats. I need a lock pick of 50 to get in yonder. So let's just take everything else we can grab. Another 9mm pistol, some buff out. Whoops, did not mean to shoot that. I'll take the bubble gum. Um, excellent. Let's see if we can't break into the safe. Nope, still can't. Shit. Oh well. That doesn't work very good, I noticed. I want into the safe so badly. There's a pistol in here that's really good. It's called Lucky. And if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the Project Nevada ones, I think. I've been using Project Nevada so long, it's hard to tell what's a vanilla weapon and what's not. You know? Over here! Oh, ow. What are you doing? Get away!
20mm weapon sucks so badly. Thank you, I know how to heal my own limbs. Oh my god. No more doctor's bags either. Great. Couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. You like that? Had enough. Ah, <sighs> that should be the last of them. Damn. Eating grit on my face. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, gonna use the incinerator, I guess. Or that, but I'm trying to save my 556 rounds. None of these guys have any healing implements whatsoever. selling off one of these uh, just make double sure that nobody else is left alive in here okay uh, let's see if there's anything worth grabbing in here I can't remember if there's like a stim pack or something a doctor's bag and because I've got it on hardcore mode I can't use a stim pack to repair my limbs take a couple bottle caps armor case hello Leather armor reinforced. Nice. Uh, fixing things, 30. See, we can give that reinforced leather armor to Sunny. Will well, yeah, it's gonna have to be Sunny because Willow's like, I don't want to change my clothes, even though what I'm wearing has no DT. Not really. Uh, 
there's a backstory. I know it do take a lot of time to, to do this repair stuff, but it really is worth it. Especially if you're going to be selling off your items to have it fully repaired to get more money for the, uh, the items that you sell off when they're fully repaired. Anything good in here? Sexy sleepwear. Hello. Half expecting somebody to come running up behind me. Give me the sexy sleep wire. Alright, I don't think there was a locked room back here of some type, wasn't there? Well, that's some pretty warm money, I'll take it. It's worth a little bit. Ransom note. So if we find the room that's got the money in it, we'll be doing okay. Which I think is this room. Oh, that was the hostage. That's sad. Jet Psycho. Somebody has OD'd. I'll take that. No money, though. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything left to snag up in here. That's the back door to Prim, but that's okay. Uh, we survived, and that's what's important. You can't ask for better than that. <laughs> I do wish my dynamite had opened up that uh, that very hard safe over there, because that gun is pretty cool. Dumpster diving. Uh, no, but we'll take it anyway. And once we get to the front of this damn place, we can sell off our crap to Johnson. Actually, before we do that, I should have done this to begin with. <laughs> While Johnson and his wife were busy in the casino, you can come over here and rob them blind. You get bad karma for it, but... Uh, this is Eddie, by the way. One of your companions. That you can get. Um, he's okay. As a... Um, as a companion, he's not too bad, but... Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a door. So it's too bad Ruby Nash is uh, a food. Ruby's casserole. <laughs> yoink and yoink. Let's see what Ruby's casserole does. Oh yeah, it makes our uh, food level go up. We can offset that with a little bit of water. I don't want to ship anything to Good Springs. So, okay, there it is. Anything good up here? No. Yeah, just steal it anyway, whatever. <coughs> okay. Single shotgun is... go talk to Johnson, let him know that we've saved Beagle. And then we have to find a sheriff. Now, 
in the next episode is when we'll find our sheriff. Because this episode's coming to a close. Oh, I forgot the damn blueprints. <laughs> Here, I tell you what, you know, here's a little trick you can do with the Groove Tron to save time. <laughs> Yes, but since I'm recording, it'll save me a few minutes, and then it'll also save me an edit, so. Let me come back through here. I forgot this on my way up. He wanted the blueprints to the hotel. Ah, oh, doctor's bag. I'm glad I came in here. stuff mod that for some reason wasn't in there came with a porta portable auto dock thing. Howdy. Howdy. Hi, Ruby. Hello there. Who are you? I'm what do you cook? I like some of that red scorpion thumb. Does casserole. sound good. Alright, so she needs the ingredients for her to cook for me. That's fine. She's not my wife anyway, so. <laughs> hey, you got them blueprints yet? Found your blueprints and the place is all clear. Great job, partner. These prints give me a good idea how much more stuff we need. It looks like we should be able to salvage enough material from around the hotel to get the basic stuff done. Won't be much. Just walls and a floor, but it's a start. Some of the town folks are itching to get to work, but they won't hit a lick until we get some law in this town. The sooner we get a new sheriff, the sooner we can get to cracking. Think you can help? I'll restore law and print. All right. Okay. Basically, uh, to restore law in Prim, you've got three options. You can either program Lippy Droid over here. You can get a... One of the convicts from the NCRCF used to be a sheriff. You can get him to do it. Or you can have the NCR do it. So what I usually do is go with Sheriff Myers because it makes for a better uh, radio piece. Howdy. Well, that was quite breaking. Who the hell is Probably. we? You got a mouse in your pocket? Can you tell me about the man in a checkered coat who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers. When so they were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay, so now we got our next link in our quest chain, which is to go Howdy. to Nipton. Uh, however, on the way to Nipton, we're going to go to the Mojave Outpost. Actually, before we go there... call this one an episode and when we come back we're going to be approaching the Mojave Outpost so as always you guys are fantastic thank you so much for watching those of you that are leave a comment you know if you like what you see hit the like button and take it easy I'm out of here